Hi, Taurus. This is your bonus reading for October 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for October 2022. In love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for October 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of taurus for october 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com so taurus this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Taurus. This is you. This is your partner. So, Taurus, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For October 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Taurus, is you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Taurus, this very well may be you, but when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse, King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or, you know, maybe this is you, Taurus, or Virgo, or Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Taurus and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here, Taurus. Mm, Taurus. It could even also be a new era in love. Maybe some type of stability or commitment here. Let's see. Taurus, you have the Two of Wands. You have the Two of Swords. Uh, really, Taurus? You have the Six of Wands. Hmm. Your partner has the Ten of Wands. These wands, child. Your partner has the Eight of Cups. And your partner has uh, the Nine of Wands. Wands, 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 wands. So, Taurus, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds very well may be a new start to love, you know, maybe new love or a blessing here could also be a new era in love we'll see taurus you have the two of wands aries leo or sag this is you being at a crossroads needing to pick a path between two should i shouldn't i will i won't i i don't know so taurus listen you're at a place where you're having to decide having to pick a path here clarify the two of wands for taurus Clarify the two of wands for Taurus. Clarify the two of wands for Taurus. 
it is clarified with the three of swords gemini libra aquarius this is heartbreak this is pain this is suffering this is agony caused by a third party situation so when i say third party yes a romantic third party but this could also be meddling family members friends co-workers neighbors anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak so taurus listen you're telling me that you're hurt you may be hurt because your feelings are hurt. You're hurt because there was a third party. And maybe trying to figure out where to go from here, Taurus. Needing to make a decision or pick a path. Taurus, you have the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision. But you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see. Refuse to acknowledge. A lack of information. Block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off. Blocked off. Not wanting to see. Wanting to ignore. Wanting to turn a blind eye. So Taurus, either you're indecisive or you're blocking Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Taurus, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here, okay? So either you're bothered because you need to make a decision, Taurus, or you're just stressed out and you're blocking. Taurus, you have the six of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Taurus, listen, you could be getting their attention. They could be getting your attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. But this can also be an announcement being made. Clarify the six of wands for Taurus. Clarify the six of wands for Taurus. Clarify the six of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. You know, Taurus, you very well may be conflicted within about something. Mm -hmm. However, you can tell me some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here because something was brought to someone's attention. They began to recognize something here. We'll see, Taurus, because listen, you know, you very well could have new love and you being conflicted within is all stemming from who do you have to hurt here, okay? You have to make a choice, a decision. It has your head hurting, honey, okay? So you very well may be conflicted within and some type of drama may be taking place over something that is coming out. However, Taurus, we'll see because this person may want to start new with you. We'll see. Could be over some type of blessing. I don't know. We'll see. Taurus, your partner has a ten of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders. Something is a burden here for your partner. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So, Taurus, listen, your partner's telling me that something is difficult and something is burden. Something they're just wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy.
So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that there's a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus' partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus' partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus' partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Taurus, your partner is the one feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. Is it because you guys had this rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument? But over what? over some type of blessing or is your partner feeling a sense of betrayal because they feel like you were out being a player getting cookies somewhere and it's too difficult for them to deal with Taurus do you have to make a choice and you have to hurt somebody this is what's hurting your head Taurus your partner has the eight of cups Scorpio cancer or Pisces this is walking away from people places and things that no longer serve them this is your partner detaching emotionally feeling emotionally drained and just walking away from people places and things that no longer serve them so Taurus listen your partner could be walking away detaching emotionally but when we're dealing with the eight of cups this is someone who's leaving in search of their nine of cups their wish fulfillment and oftentimes they find that the grass is not green or on the other side so they end up returning so your partner could be leaving or returning clarify the eight of cups for taurus's partner clarify the eight of cups for taurus's partner clarify the eight of cups for taurus's partner it is clarified with the two of cups Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now Taurus, your partner could tell me that I'm going to return because this is my babe. This is my soulmate. But mm, I don't know, Taurus. Mm -mm. Taurus, your partner could tell me that they're walking away from their soulmate. Taurus, your partner could also tell me that they're walking away because all of this argument, arguing, is over some type of an agreement, maybe some type of blessing here. Taurus, your partner has the nine of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting a little suspicious a little paranoid here so listen taurus your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious they have their guard up they don't trust your partner could tell me that they're guarding something your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground clarify the nine of wands for taurus's partner clarify the nine of wands for taurus's partner clarify the nine of wands for taurus's partner it is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So listen, Taurus, could be dealing with a Gemini. But your partner could tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull. Yes. Your partner could tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Taurus's partner. Clarify the lovers. For Taurus's partner. Clarify the lovers. For Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up. To work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now this can speak to there being a third party involved. But this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. Hey, so Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that this is all work or business. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Your partner could tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract, a collaboration, work. However, your partner could tell me that there was a third party, Taurus. Hmm. 
So, Taurus, listen, you know, <laughs> I, unless I know what your partner's made of, like, mm, I, I don't know. I don't know, a man or a mouse, like, I don't know, because... Listen, your partner could tell me that, yes, there is this battle going on here, but it's a battle for Taurus. Like, your partner could tell me, yes, there's another other lover, but I'm going to be persistent because I want to work things out with Taurus. I want to return and work things out because this is my soulmate here. And maybe they're wanting to start new with you. However, Taurus, your partner can tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have the guard up. They don't trust here that there was another other lover, a third party. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like maybe you're having to make a decision and it's just, it's just, you have an excedrin headache over here, Taurus, because it was found out and it caused some type of drama that you have new love, Taurus. You have two. Taurus, this is your bonus reading for October 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.